the song out, we're going to play like a G chord. We want to hit just the third fret of the sixth string, and then we're going to pluck together the um, second fret of the fifth string and the open fourth string. The bass note separately, and then these two notes. Then you go right to what would be like a C, and we're going to slide that up to a D and back to a C, but we're only using the fifth and fourth string. Slide up to um, four and five, and then come back and hit uh, three and two. So we have this so far. All right, now that we're in this position, what I usually do use is just these two fingers. So what we're going to do is hammer into the fourth string, second fret, hit the third string twice, then hit that second fret on the fourth string again and open. And then we start it over. All right, this time through they change it a little bit. It's like he's going to do a C add ninth. Okay, he's just going to hit the open third back to the second fret of the fourth string and uh, back to the open third. And then you're going to strike these uh, the first and second string at the third fret, and you can hit the third string also. So all together. see how that goes. You don't have to pick your fingers up like I am. That's just to show you. So that's the intro lick. They do that twice and then you're just going into a kind of a quiet G and you're really only playing the uh, bottom half of it. So the sixth, fifth, and maybe fourth. And you're going to do the same with the C. You're only going to play five through maybe three. And then a D. And at this point, again, three through um, maybe two. And then you'll hit D again. One, two, and then C kind of leads you back to like a turnaround to G. So it sounds like this. Now D again. There's your turnaround in G. Okay, then they're going to go, so they do that three times, and then you go to an E minor, and this is just quietly, and then a C, you kind of play again just a few of the strings, and then a D, and then they go into the actual chorus, Your Life Is Now, and then to start that, you're going to up strum on an E minor. can add your sus4 there and maybe even a sus2. They change it up. Um, I've even seen John just do a C add ninth. Um, Next we have this big G that comes in and there's an electric guitar that's back in him and this is where it really kind of rocks in and um, he does two full measures of G. And then you're back into the verse with the G. like I'm doing here to D, D, okay, A solo the rhythm, so it's going to come in after the big G.
just to a G and then a G sus4. So if you're not familiar with that, you're playing a G with your pinky here on the first string, and you're going to add your first finger down onto the um, C note, which makes it a suspended fourth, because we're taking that B and adding, moving it up one. So we're taking a B and making it a C. So that's your rhythm for the solo. We'll cover that in a second. So we're at the seventh fret on the third string. We'll play it at speed and then we'll slow it down. Okay, so what we're doing there is we're on the third string, seven to nine, and then we're gonna go second string, eight to seven. Do that again. Then we're gonna go eight, seven, five to um, seven on the third. Now hold that seven, and then you're gonna go five, four, and then seven from the third to the fourth string. Okay, now we're going to go back to that first uh, part of it, the seven to nine on the third to eight and seven on the second. Now while we're here, we're just going to go nine, seven on the third, nine, seven on the fourth. And then there's an eight, seven, second string, to nine on the um, third string, back to eight on the second. Okay, so that uh, last part. All right, and then we're just gonna go nine, seven, three, nine, seven on the fourth, and then end up on the fifth string at the 10th fret. That G brings us back around, okay? So there's the violin solo. Um, it's a little bit tricky because there's a couple in there um, overdubbed, but uh, if, you, if you listen to them, you'll be able to pick it out. And um, then they go back into the third verse and then another chorus. So um, hope you enjoyed the song.